Good work. Paying down your balance. Yeah, I heard that I've been paying despite payments not being due. So first and foremost, I just want to say excuse my different background. I'm overusing backdrops. And excuse the shadow because I only have my ring light and not box lighting to, you know, counter out the shadows. But we're here. We're recording. I'm going to get it together. But I did want to just throw that out there before somebody be in the comments like, girl, there's a shadow. Girl, this is... I know. I know. I know. I'm not pretending to be perfect. I know, I see it. I can see the shadow behind me. But go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as turn on your post notifications so every time I upload a video, you'll get a little notification. I promise I'm gonna be more consistent. We're gonna switch it up. We're gonna have a better background. We're gonna get it all together, you know what I mean? So welcome to my channel. My name is Amber Marion. If this is your first time here, then welcome. And if you've been here before, then welcome back. As you could tell by today's, I always mess up. As you could tell by the title of today's video, we're going to be doing an updated what's in my purse video. So if you want to see all the things that I have in my purse, just keep watching. Let me just be honest before we get into this what's in my bag. I haven't been on YouTube in a while. I actually shot this video over a month ago and the day I shot the what's in my purse was actually the day that my dog, Coco Chanel, passed away. So I kind of didn't want to upload the video because she was in it. I didn't want to, I just was, you know, I really just, I needed a break from everything. I had lost my very, very, very best friend. So if you're not new to my channel, then you definitely know that Coco was in a ton of videos. She was my very best friend. I'm gonna throw up one of my favorite pictures of me and Coco. So this is definitely my second time shooting this what's in my purse. Let's get into it. So first things first, this is my Goyard St. Louis tote in the color opaline when i did my unboxing video i didn't know the color name i was like I, I didn't know it but since that video i have learned that the color is opaline i have a lot of things in this bag we're not going to go in order we're just going to jump right into it and i have somebody that is just trying to interrupt my recording process and that's this little girl marley get yourself in the pink finder you see yourself? Can I record this video, please? I carry my tripod with me because I do want to be a better YouTuber. I do want to start vlogging, being more consistent. So that's why that's in there. Super important to always have in my bag is a portable charger. I cannot live without a portable charger. My phone doesn't even die a lot, but it's just like the insurance of knowing that you have a portable charger fully charged in your purse, you're like, whoo. This is something that I actually don't always have in my purse, but these are, you guys are gonna think I'm so weird, two of my good luck charms, um, a beanie baby that my grandma used to carry with her as a good luck charm, and a handkerchief. I, super random, I know, but this is how we gonna get to know each other. I'm a super random person. But I had a root canal done yesterday, two root canals done yesterday, and this is actually, I carry these with me, like, when I have a surgery or procedure, like a big day, they were definitely with me on my wedding day. So, I'm sentimental like that. I don't know if everybody else is. You could think I'm weird. I'm not, I'm not going to knock that. What else do we have in here? So, I have a dog leash. You guys already met Marley. She's a wild woman, but since she's a puppy, I've had to take her to the vet, things like that. So I just keep that in my purse. Now, y'all know 
our little homegirl COVID, she ain't go nowhere. Matter of fact, she just started coming back up, popping back up, stronger than ever. So you know I have to keep my sanitizers. I keep my sanitizers. Everybody should have sanitizers in their purse or their pockets, their cars, backpacks, whatever. Why I have so many, I don't know. I'm just, that's me. If you guys, if you didn't see my last, what's in my purse, the quarantine edition, all I care about is hand sanitizer, face masks, and plastic gloves, basically. But let me put y'all on to the best smelling hand sanitizer out there. If you haven't gotten this, run and go buy it. It is the Victoria's Secret. Nothing is focusing today. That's fine with me. I feel like whenever things don't work in my... Look at that. I was just about to say, when things don't work in my favor, they be coming out good. So this is the Victoria's Secret Hand Sanitizer Spray with Aloe. I have the scent Mandarin Peach. You just do not understand how good it smells. Every time I use it and I go somewhere, people are like, oh my God, what is that? So major key during COVID. I have my regular, just my regular regular wallet in here. I feel like in what's in my purse is people don't hold stuff up to the camera. So we're not going to do that. My regular wallet, my regular card case. And actually, you know that little cute puppy I showed you guys before? She's low-key a little devil, but I don't know if you could see she actually ate. She chewed and ate my card case already. I have a ton of the, what are these called? Medical grade face masks. I just keep a ton because, because. What else do I have in here? So I have some hair accessories like a butterfly clip and some bobby, bobby pins, some hair ties. I usually keep them inside my makeup bag, but sometimes I just throw them in here. This is the little wristlet that's attached to my purse. So I have a, another hand sanitizer swinging on there. And in here I just keep, I keep like my insurance cards, important stuff in the back. I throw in like cash, little, little reminders of places that I have to go. Food shopping list, very essential. I don't have a lot of receipts in my purse because I'm actually obsessed with this app called Fetch Rewards. I'll leave a link down below if you don't know anything about them. This is not a sponsored video. I wish they were sponsoring me. I just happen to really like Fetch Rewards. Basically, you scan any receipt and you get points for it. And then you trade in those points, turn in those points for gift cards. Like for Amazon, Target, all those places. And literally every receipt you can scan. Like you can scan food receipts, gas receipts, shopping receipts, grocery receipts. You can even... Your, you can link it to your Amazon and your email. like. But it also helps me because I haven't, I don't have a purse full of receipts anymore. So I have another face mask in my purse. This one is a custom one for paws and kisses pet grooming. I don't think I've ever said this on my channel, but my mom owns a dog grooming salon named Paws and Kisses. So always showing support as usual can't go anywhere without my fragrances so I have two bottles of Terry Mugler Angel in my purse I feel like there's really nothing interesting in my purse I have these two little bags and I'm obsessed with these like plastic reusable purse bags I believe they're from Ziploc and they come in a pack of like eight no I lied they come. Would you look at that? The nerve of my student loan people. 31st, 2020. You've continued to pay us despite no payments being due. Good work. 
Y'all heard that? that I've been paying despite payments due. not being due. Payments will again be at 800. Well, that was a cute call. They called to say, hey, girl, you've been paying your student loans even though you don't have to right now. I definitely do, though. I try. Lost my train of thought. So these bags, they come in like a pack of... Five, I think and they're from Ziploc and I like to keep things in here that not only do I want to keep organized but products that I don't want to like spill or get all over my purse so in here I just have some Clorox wipes I'm telling you I am um I got a whole sanitation kit in here and a bunch of plastic gloves I still like using plastic gloves certain places I hope everybody is staying safe I know we're on like this second wave of COVID. I live in New Jersey, Northern New Jersey to be specific. And we are um, experiencing like, I think, I think the other day we had more cases than in the beginning of COVID. So it's definitely important for everybody to still stay diligent. And I don't want to sound like somebody grandma up here, stay diligent, wear your mask, don't gather. But I mean, come on, you know what I mean? like. <sighs> COVID is stressful, y'all. In this one, I keep another sanitizer. People are going to think I'm crazy. People are like, people are really going to see this video and be like, all you have in your purse is sanitizer and like mascara, but whatever. I also keep tissues in here. I don't know why I still have nail glue in here. I don't even have artificial tips anymore and then I keep a pen in here I actually I probably have a few pens in my purse and this is just some free game for y'all but no matter how much you sanitize your hands one of the like most touched items is like those pens at the restaurant for you to sign the receipt at the bank like basically those community pens so carry your own pen with you please because I mean you don't know how many people don't touch them pens like you just don't know Another shopping list. A Hershey's wrapper. People always ask me if I have cream in my purse, and I usually don't. So I started carrying cream in my purse. The cream I use is, well, the cream that I carry in my purse, because I don't even use it that much, is the Hemp's little travel size cream. I also have a. Well, that flew. So we're back. I have a lighter in my purse. I don't know what that's about. The bottom of my purse has a whole bunch of change in it, which I should put in my change jar because I usually have my phone in my purse as well. This is like my on the go makeup essentials well not even makeup essentials but like my on the go essentials i won't bore you guys with them usually i have in here my face compact and a travel size brush but i don't know why i don't know where they are so these are definitely key definitely essential Girl, boy, whoever you are, whether you wear makeup or you go to the gym or whatever, these are the travel size Neutrogena wipes. I love these things because you literally can just fit them anywhere. You can fit them in your pocket. Sometimes I want to take off my makeup in the middle of the day. My eyes are itchy or bothering me and I want to wipe something off. Or sometimes I don't have any makeup on and I just want a little refresher. These are great for that purpose. Something else that's always in my purse and is key besides my ID and money being in my purse, the most important thing in my purse is Benadryl. About a year ago, I discovered that I'm allergic to tree nuts. I actually just had an allergy test done at the doctor and I go back for my results to see all of what I'm allergic to. But it's pretty crazy because there's literally tree nuts in almost everything. There's tree nuts in so many different types of chocolates, cakes, cookies, and then so many other things will like have the warning came from a facility that had tree nuts or peanuts. And it's like, it's the worst feeling in the world because I literally feel like 
I can't eat anything anymore. Or put anything on. One of my favorite smells was coconut, like cream, deodorant. Coconut was my jam. And probably, probably four months ago, I used a coconut cream a coconut CBD cream and when I tell you I had a worse reaction a worse a worse allergic reaction than when I eat tree nuts it was insane so also in here I have another pen because like I said use your own and even after you use your own still sanitize it because hello and then I just have like my three go-to lip glosses so i like to carry an nyx butter gloss a mac lip glass and a mink mistress lip gloss. and then i carry two travel size mascaras because you never know when you're gonna be like when you're out and about and you might not have on makeup and then you get invited to do something or you know that whole thing so that's basically what i carry in my purse um so this was actually my third time shooting this video i said in the beginning of the video it was my second time but actually besides the day i shot it with coco i also tried shooting it after that and i had an allergic reaction in my eye to i don't know if it was the eyeliner i tried i don't know what so this is my third time shooting it hopefully third time's the charm and yeah if you enjoyed today's video, minus the crazy shadows behind me from the bad lighting, make sure you're hitting the thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.